What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Less Machine. Today we're going to go through how to indicate a vice inside a vertical mill. Um, this will work for virtually any mill. I don't know why it would ever be any different. Uh, this is going to get you accurate to within a few thou. Uh, obviously if you need something beyond precise there are other ways to do this. This is just a quick and easy beginner way to indicate a vice inside a CNC mill. Let's take a look. So the things we're going to need to do this um, mic stand, or mic stand, uh, indicator stand. This is one of those cheesy ones that you know you tighten and loosen, and it has that attachment for the indicator on it, that little uh, dovetail there. Um, these are really cheap, you can get them for like 10, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, uh, depending on your supplier. Besides that, test style indicator, I use Mitotoyo, they're my favorite brand. You can see there, there we are. So, this, we're just going to put straight on. Here, as you can see, the dovetail here fits into the dovetail there. Screw it in, tighten it down. Now we're gonna take this and put it inside the machine. So make sure our table is nice and clean, nothing is on it. We're gonna take our vise, slap her on. Make sure when you put this in, we wanna make sure our vise is not gonna run into anything in the back. Just gonna line it up with uh, one of our keyways here. T nuts go in. Shove that in there. And we grab our bolts and our washers. Now, the one bolt I put in, I'm just gonna screw in. I'm not gonna tighten it right down like so not even snug just finger tight the next one I put in I'm gonna tighten down a bit more what we're gonna do here is by tightening down the one bolt tighter than the other we're gonna make the entire vise pivot around one side right so when we tap it we want it to pivot around one point otherwise if they're both loose the entire vise is just gonna float around so yeah we're gonna tighten down this far one you know, just a little pull on there like that. Now what we're going to do, take our indicator base, make sure it's nice and clean, that's nice and clean, mag it on there like so. Going to move this so that it's lined up. Now all we're going to do, put our machine in handle jog. I'm going to see if I can move you over here a little bit so you get a better view here. There we go. So all we're gonna do is move this into the smooth face of my jaws. Now these jaws I machined previously, so I know that this face here is nice and square. Otherwise, if I didn't, I would have to make sure they're either ground or machined nice and square, whatever it may be. So here we go. Just want the tip to be touching. Give me one second here. There we go. So once it touches, we'll dial it to zero. So my dial indicator is now on zero. Now a trick here is, if I have this one tightened down, I wanna start my indicator on that side. So wherever my pivot point is, I wanna start my indicator on that same side, okay? Other thing we can do before we start is use a square to help get it you know, mostly there. So all I'm gonna do, Move my indicator across the vise. You can see it's coming back. So this side needs to come forward. Since this is my pivot point, I'm gonna tap the vise this way. Just to zero. Move it back. And you can see we're within about two thou here. So once again, I'm gonna re-zero on this side. Go to, you know, 100 thou increments. Move it back. Oh, you can see we're almost there. So again, I'm just gonna tap the vise slightly, get it to zero, move it back. You can see now, we're within half a thou. And for what I'm doing here, that is more than square enough. So now that I've got a square, I'm gonna tighten down this side. Again, make sure you only indicate the solid jaw of the vise. If you indicate the front jaw, if you have a vise where the front jaw moves, it's not gonna work. Tighten both these down good and tight. You should use a pipe on these, really make sure everything's real good and tight. 
Now, after you tighten it, because you don't know if you may have moved something in here, it's always good to indicate the vise one more time. Like so. There we have it. So you can see, I'll zoom in here on that indicator. See if I can get it to focus in on it. There it is. If I pick up on here, you can see that's a zero. Move this right across. It's at zero the entire time. Perfect. So there you have it guys. That's a quick and easy way to indicate a vise inside a vertical mill. It's something that as you do more frequently, you'll get way better at. Um, I remember when I first started machining, indicating a vise could take me 20 minutes. Now, you know, literally that took me about one. Um, something you get by feel, something you get good at. Your accuracy on how straight that's going to be is determined on A, how straight your ways are in your machine. If you've crashed your machine a bunch and you know those ways may be off a little bit, things could go crooked there. As well, if you have an indicator or stand that has a little bit of wobble in it, again, it may not be as accurate. But uh, make sure always only indicate a ground jaw or a jaw that you've machined yourself so you know that it's square. And make sure you only ever indicate the solid jaw. Don't indicate anything that moves. Again, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope this has been helpful. If you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. Again, thank you very much. You take care.